Hey brother, welcome to day five of 40 days of following. It's putting one foot in front of the other. It's being active. It's actually pursuing, following the leader that we have, who is Jesus. And the gospel of Mark is going to get us right into that. In verse 16, it says of Jesus, passing along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, follow me, and I will make you become fishers of men. And here's a favorite word of Mark. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. And going on a little farther, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who were in their boat mending the nets. And immediately he called them, and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with their hired servants and followed him. Now, all of us have heard the whole phrase of ready, fire, aim, of people who launch great missions or great ideas without really measuring the cost. And we're all kind of caught up in a management-related culture. But I want to challenge you today. Is there something that Jesus is saying to you? Is there something that's spoken to you through the Word? Is there a prompting to you through the Holy Spirit? Is your conscience saying something to you that says there's something I should do right now, immediately. Now, these people left nets. They left businesses. They left family. And we'll talk about that later, the, the renunciation commands of Jesus, of the 12 who literally did follow him on foot to different places. But Jesus is still calling us today to obedience. So I want to challenge you today with this very simple thing. What are you waiting for? Is there something that God has been speaking to you? Something that Jesus models for you or these disciples model for you? Is there a word? Is there a phone call? Is there a confession? Is there a note you need to write? Is there a sign up you need to make? Is there a place you need to go? Is there a remittance you need to pay? What is it? What are you waiting for? I heard that a lot as a boy. My dad was always in a hurry. And he would always say, well, what are you waiting for? Let, let's just do it. Well, not everything is immediate, but there's probably something right now that the Spirit of God is laying on your heart. And as a follower of Jesus, he's saying, what are you waiting for? Immediately, you could obey. You could take one step toward that. I want to leave you with that today because a lot of us delay our obedience and delayed obedience simply becomes disobedience and apathy. So today, as brothers, let's follow Jesus like the early disciples and hear his voice and immediately be willing to follow him.